everybody! This is Merlin. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Part 4. Um, last time we read our poem to Yuri and Monica, and now we're time to... It's time to read it to my least favorite pe couple. Um, that's so cute. That is so Yuri. Uh, I just think they're both really annoying and, you know, one appears to be like the childhood friend and the other one appears to be the Tsundere who is just like, I hate you, but I love you anyway. And, you know, the underdeveloped type and whatever. I mean, I can tell whatever, whatever the tropes are already, but apparently this game has an interesting twist and I've managed to avoid spoilers. Can you believe it or not? Up until this point, I haven't had any spoilers for this game, so... I feel like the reaction's gonna be genuine, whatever it is, you know, whatever happens. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's go on with whoever I should show my poem to next. I guess it'll be Sayori. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. This is a good poem, Marilu. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. That's, it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I used to write, but that's why it's impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm just really happy you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you with the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Marilu. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying to do things like this for other people, that's something only really good people do. Uh, thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the good, the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! <laughs> now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my binds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting my wrist to, are you trusting me to wish my, away my rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Sorry, I can't fucking stand. I can't stand like overly positive, glittery. Everything is, you know, pink and rosy. It's like open your fucking eyes and realize what the world is. Oh my god, Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No, it just just a little bit. And you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Uh, I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to see it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It just sounds like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But, but next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Whose poem should I read next? I guess I have to read Natsuki. Mm. Mm. Really, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. <laughs> what? Harsh. What, you expect me to believe you that I actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not, I'm not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? 
If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Eh. Painful to think about. Eh. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better, anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Stupidest fucking puppet. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. But... Just be honest. I am. This is my totally serious, honest face. <laughs> Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. <laughs> so people don't even take my writing seriously. Despite the fact that I write like, you know, a kindergarten student, you know, ducks can quack, cows go moo. This is my poetry skills. <laughs> Fuck. Can't stand her. Um, but the point of poems is for people to express. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. It's like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. <sighs> but the other thing is, about, the other thing about simply writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. <laughs> I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I, uh, what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Marilla did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some of my some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Me? And Marilla really liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Eerie. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you're just... 
Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Marina appreciates my voice more than he appreciates yours. Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do all the way to Ugh! Um, is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as my really started showing up. That's Suki. Um, that's Suki. That's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Marulu! She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! As if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your homes all convoluted for no reason? This meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey, convey complex feelings and meaning most effectively. Including them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, but also a waste. You understand that, right, my reader? Uh. Well? Yeah. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. It's true, I don't. <laughs> but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. I wonder, who am I gonna agree with? Yuri! My lady! Natsuki! You're right, I liked your poem. See? Wait! That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my po oh. Yeah, Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm, I understand. Yuri? Uh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened. I am a pro let's play. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when he said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that. I... I'm sorry. But Natsuki, you took it way too far! Don't mess with my waifu! Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. You're in the doghouse! Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists like a fucking five-year-old. <laughs> In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at the point of being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. And then she jumps out the window and kills herself. <laughs> I end up even feeling bad for her. Uh, uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. So Yuri, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm gonna do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your fucking faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches up her poem from the desk and storms out. On her way, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Ho, bitch! Natsuki! She didn't really need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried with her hands. She stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in her adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How can anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. 
Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Marilu, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you as a part of this cap now. <laughs> uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, uh, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh? Uh, what thing did Natsuki say? Ah, uh, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. Good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? I take mine with two milks and two sugars. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I would say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Oh my god, she's back from the dead. Marilu, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing again tomorrow. Great. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Great. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With that luck, that means I could do a little better impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. DETERMINATION! Marilu! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayuri, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion is all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Marilu, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun! Uh, it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the situation I'm in. Sure, being everyone friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll see, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that one said that to myself more I said more that more to myself than to her. What? I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. What? Um okay. Yeah, let's do this. Whatever. Okay, I think I'll end the video there. And um, we'll continue on with making our poem in the next video in part five. I'll say thank you for watching. Um, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. You can check me out on uh, social media, on Twitter, Marulu TV, or on Facebook. I'm on, I, you can check me out on Marulu on Facebook. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.